I'm Nidge, and this is what I looked like when I was 10 years old. If you find yourself on a trip from Queensland to Tasmania anytime soon, prepare for a small shock. You're about to get slightly heavier. In 2013, Australian and German researchers found that gravity varies by about 0.7 of 1% around the world. It's because our planet isn't perfectly spherical and means a 100 kilogram person would weigh about 200 grams more in Tassie than they would in Queensland. Today I'm interested in the weight of something that's a little larger than a person. I want to find out how much our whole country weighs, not just the people of Australia, but the entire continent. And I'm going to need some help to find out. Coming in is the expert geologist from Geosciences Australia, we have Dr Richard Blewett. And as the expert geophysicist, we have Professor Greg Hausman from the University of Sydney and the University of Leeds. With yours truly as the resident physicist halfback. The first calculation we tried was to find the weight of the Australian portion of the world, as if it was like an ice cream cone going to the centre of the planet. We're going to try to answer how much does Australia weigh. Uh, the first way we're thinking about doing it is to figure out if Australia went all the way into the middle of the Earth, how much would that segment weigh? And I think we need three numbers to work it out. And the equation that we would use is something like mass is equal to area of Australia. Oh, 7.7 .7 times 10 to the 6 kilometres squared. Kilometres squared. Yeah. Sweet. Awesome. All right. Divided by the surface area of the world times by the mass of the world. And the radius of the Earth? Uh, 6,380 kilometres, roughly. Awesome. And uh, big G? Universal gravitation constant, 6.67 .6 by 10 to the minus 11. So we plug all the numbers in, and what we get is an answer of about 10 to the 23 kilograms. So if you missed any of that, if we found the weight of the Australian portion of the world, as if it were an ice cream cone segment to the middle of the planet, Australia weighs about 1 70th the mass of the world, or 10 to the 23 kilograms, which is one with 23 zeros after it, kilograms. The second calculation we did was to measure the weight of Australia as if we sliced the line right across the nation at sea level and popped it off like the top of a muffin. We need to figure out like the average height of Australia and then the second part is to figure out the average density of Australia. So let's think about the average height of Australia first. Yeah, we know, it's 330 metres. 330 metres. On meters. average above sea level. Average area of Australia we know from before. 7.7 .7 times 10 to the 6. So the third thing we need is the average density of Australia. And Richard, you've brought along an average rock of Australia. Yeah, here's a granite. It's like your, your granite bench tops. This is the bedrock of Australia. Yeah, yeah, fundamentally. It's about 320 grams. Great, and so what's the volume of it, guys? 10 centimetres by six, roughly, yeah, by, by about two. All right, that's 2,700 kilograms per cubic metre. And we can now plug the numbers in, I think. If we take Australia's area, 7.7 .7 million square kilometres, and multiply that by the average height of Australia, 330 metres above sea level, and multiply that volume by the average density of the rock in Australia, 2,700 kilograms per cubic metre, we can work out the weight of Australia to be 7 times 10 to the 18 kilograms. <laughs> the final calculation we did was to take a geologist's perspective on the question, how big is Australia? And the answer was surprising. Australia as a continent stretches out all the way to Papua New Guinea and Indonesia and goes more than 180 kilometres deep into the earth. So you can see this is the extruded block diagram that here's the coastline and this is taking it down to the crust mantle boundary. So that's calculation number two. Yep. And then we went to calculation number three, we can actually add, you can see how it's getting thinner, the crust is getting thinner as we go out to the continent ocean boundary. So that was that sort of extra 30% that we added. So isn't that cool? Yeah, that's great. Right. Awesome. Finding the weight of this entire landmass gives us an answer of around 750 times the previous answer. So that's 5 times 10 to the 21 kilograms. So there we have it. The Australian portion of the world is about 1 70th the mass of the world, about 10 to the 23 kilograms. The Australia that we see is 1 10 thousandth of this, around 7 by 10 to the 18 kilograms. And the mass of the entire landmass that moves together as Australia is around 750 times this mass, about 5 times 10 to the 21 kilograms. That's the weight of Australia. Geologists rock. <laughs>